Steam Sundays, championed by the Toyota Mirai. Well, her passion for the sky as a six-year-old led to a career working inside a landmark Hopper Dome. It is time for this week's Steam Sunday Profile, and KCAL 9 meteorologist Amber Lee introduces us to an astronomer who takes care of one of Griffith Observatory's greatest treasures. It's one of those things you're hooked once you, once you start looking through the sky. It's an early evening in late July, with two hours of daylight still remaining. Denise Behrens is setting up shop in the Griffith Observatory's historic telescope dome. I am a telescope demonstrator here at Griffith Observatory. Denise's day begins around 5 p.m. Her first task, open the dome. Next, she checks her clocks and consults pages full of numbers in her map book of the heavens. Basically latitude and longitude for the sky. Of all the STEAM disciplines, Denise relies on math training most. We took the Toyota Mobile Weather Lab out to see her in action. So we should have roughly 220. Her goal right now, track down Venus. The apparent declination. Denise's calculations tell her exactly what she needs to do to make sure the observatory's historic telescope can zoom in on her target. This telescope has been here since 1935. It's basically in the same condition as it was as when it was installed here. Denise has calculated the celestial address the lens needs to find. Then it's time to spin the giant copper clad dome into position. This part is a visitor favorite. And they love that, you know, to see this huge thing move. The next step, position the telescope itself. It weighs 9,000 pounds, but was engineered so that Denise can move it all by herself. The final step before showtime is a two-person job. Roll out the staircase, then let the crowds roll in. Welcome everyone to our Zeiss Refractor. When the sky is clear and the planets aligned. They can't believe it that you can see the rings of Saturn or the craters of the moon up close right through their own eyes. Denise took the first steps on her current career path at age six. First, you, know, you start with the moon. Can you see the moon? And then you work your way up to, can you find that nebula, that little star cluster? And um, it just went on from there. To land her dream job, Denise needed years of education, which weren't always easy. Her advice to want to be stargazers struggling with school? Don't be discouraged. You know, you'll hit rough spots here and there, but the opportunities and what lays ahead of you is so much more. So just hang in there, keep going, and you never know where it may lead you. Amber Lee, KCAL 9 News. So impressive. Wow. <laughs> and for more on life inside the Griffith Observatory and other STEAM careers, visit us at kcal9.com slash STEAM. I love so these awesome. pieces. Yeah, and so you know, awesome. when her parents or whoever took that picture I of her that. at six right. years old, they probably never imagined no. that no. this is where she'd end up. Yeah. Right. Amazing. Inside the Griffith Observatory. Uh, yeah. Wow. What a that's a great office space for her, right? Yeah. yeah. I her love office. these Steve Sundays. So awesome. Yeah. So good. I'm excited about next week. We'll yeah. See what we have next week. It's Ooh. so much fun. And we